So it's the first day in Kenya, first day in Nairobi, and we're off to Korogocho to see the slums and to meet some of the people who have set up their own radio station called Koch FM. Uh, this is a Koch FM studio and this is where we are broad broadcasting from. Uh, this structure itself is, is a metal container, a shipment container, but uh, we've made it into uh, look like a, a studio. We've done some acoustic work. Uh, as you can see, we, <laughs> these are trays which we used. Uh, a small group of young DJs work at Koch FM. The station plays great music and provides this often ignored community with news. For example, today we have a, a free medical camp. Medical is very expensive, so a couple of NGOs from around here have invited doctors from around Kenya and around the world. So what I do is when I go on there, I have to tell people there's some free medical camp, come and get a checkup for free. I also had the chance to meet one of Koch FM's youngest talents, 14-year-old Joseph. This is my story, to us all. Together we can mark us. This is my story. Do not struggle. Together we can mark it. And do you think Koch FM is part of making Karagatu a nicer place to live? Yes, yes, of course, yeah. Yes, a Koch FM is a good station, and I like that Koch FM because it yes, assists many people. Yeah. The oldest and biggest of Kenya's slums is called Kaibira, an estimated one million people living in a space which measures only 600 acres or one square mile. It's properly crammed here. I've never seen living conditions like it. Jasmine, who's grown up in Kaibira, agreed to give me a tour. Do you find life here from day to day hard? Sometimes it's hard, you can't deny that. It's really hard coping up with such an environment. Jasmine now works as a reporter for the Kaibira Journal, the slum's very own newspaper. The paper campaigns on issues that affect the residents and fights for their rights. First, we just base our, our stories on those major issues that really do affect the youth. You can talk about rape because it's what happened mostly in Kibera. Like in a day you can find that like 20, 30 girls are raped, are sexually abused. A and day? A day, yeah, a day. You know, visiting Kosh FM, visiting the Kiberian Journal, you kind of realise that there's really great things within these slums. There's a lot of good work being done with the help of Action Aid. People here in Nairobi really want to see change and are making it happen themselves. So to see it firsthand has been brilliant.